Are you a splitter or a lumper? Geological mapping is all about developing a series of categories that describe the rocks in the area you're working and then pigeonholing each outcrop into one of those categories. And at the end of the day, making a map of the categories. How narrow or broad you make those categories determines whether you're a splitter or a lumper. At the broadest possible end of the scale, there's only three rock types, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. That's the ultimate lumper. The ultimate splitter might look at this outcrop and decide that that's a massive sandstone, that's a bedded sandstone, and that's a siliceous sandstone. Of course, most of us are somewhere in between. And the question is, how do you draw that line? Where is it that you decide you've got enough categories to accurately describe the rocks and develop a picture of the structure, and not so many that you're going to just not be able to correlate anything? The critical factor is correlation. When you're making that map at the end of the day and you're trying to join up outcrops, you want to be reasonably certain that that outcrop over there is in fact the same rock type as that outcrop over there, even though the grain size or the colour might be slightly different. If you make the categories too narrow, then even the small changes between there and there will be enough to make them different rock types and they won't join up. If you make the categories too large, then you'll probably include some other rock types that don't belong in that category. The way I approach that problem is to start out as a splitter and slowly morph my way into being a lumper. When I first start, at each outcrop I make a fairly detailed description that includes most of the things that I might use to join or split other rocks later on. And then I plot all that up on the map and as I'm doing the interpretation layer, I split them or lump them according to whatever seems to work best. And after a week or so, I tend to get an idea of what things do join up and what things are different units. And then I make my descriptions a little bit simpler and hence my mapping gets faster as time goes on. So, generally speaking, it's best to start out as a splitter and turn yourself into a lumper.